Hello friends. Now I am going to explain data sufficiency in reasoning, part two. As of now, part one has been covered. Now we'll move on to part two. Okay. As you know, there will be a one question followed by two statements. In that, you have to decide whether the data provided in the statements are sufficient to answer the question. Read both the statement. and answer for that and the options will be like this first option if the data in statement 1 alone are sufficient to answer the question while the data in statement 2 alone not sufficient to answer the question option 2 if the data in statement 2 alone are sufficient to answer the question while the data in statement 1 alone not sufficient to answer the question third option if the data either in statement 1 alone or in statement 2 alone are sufficient to answer the question option 4 if the data given in both the statements together not sufficient to answer the question last option data in both the statements 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question coming to the first question how many sisters does p have statement 1 k and m are sisters of t second statement p's father is husband of p mother options will be like this statement 1 alone sufficient to answer the question while the data in statement 2 alone not sufficient to answer the question second option data in statement 2 alone are sufficient to answer the question while the data in statement 1 alone not sufficient to answer the question third option either statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone are sufficient to answer the question fourth option both the statements 1 and 2 together are not sufficient to answer the question fifth option both statement 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question from the statement 1 they are saying k and m are sisters of t and from the second statement they are telling t father is husband of p's mother p father is husband of p mother then t and p becomes siblings if we combine both the statements k and m are sisters of t p father is husband of p mother even by combining both the statements we are not sufficient to answer how many sisters does p have because we don't know whether t is male or female from this we can conclude that both statement 1 and 2 are not sufficient to answer the question so the right answer is option 4 given both statement 1 and 2 together are not sufficient to answer the question
coming to the second question on which day of the week from monday to sunday did arun leave london first statement arun did not leave london on weekend second statement arun brother left for london on friday after two days arun left for london okay by analyzing the two statements you can find the answer in the statement one they are telling arun did not leave london on weekend that means he did not go on saturday and sunday from the second statement they are telling arun brother left for london on friday two days after arun left for london that means if arun brother is left london on friday that means two day back that is tuesday arun left for london statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question okay i'll write it down and show you arun did not leave london on weekend that means the chances are monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday from the second statement they are telling arun brother left for london on friday this is arun brother two days after arun left for london that means tuesday arun left for london that means statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question but statement 1 alone not sufficient to answer the question that is option 2 statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question while data in statement 1 alone not sufficient to answer the question coming to the third question how is new written in code language first statement new good clothes is written as 539 in that code language second statement good clothes are costly is written as 9673 in that code language here also you no need to write anything just by analyzing the both statement and comparing that you can answer okay observe the term new in only first statement they are given and apart from that good and clothes are both common for statement 1 and 2 that is 3 and 9 in statement 2 also 3 and 9 are common so if we remove that 3 and 9 from the statement 1 5 is the remaining part that is new can be given as 5 in that code language so we can say that both statement 1 and 2 are necessary to answer the question here also statement 1 good and clothes and from the statement 2 good and clothes that is the common terms are 3 and 9 and here also 9 and 3 so the left part is 5 for new it becomes 5 and for 
wood and cloth becomes 3 and 9 so that we can say that both statement are necessary to answer this question that is option 5 both the statement 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question coming to the next question who among m n p t r is youngest first statement n and t are younger than p from the second statement m is older than r and p from the first statement they are telling that n and t are younger than p n and t are younger than p there are total five members and another possible like this many ways can be written and from the second statement they are telling that m is older than r and p here also it come up many things many ways are possible so the hint here is they didn't give exactly from the last video if you observe in many questions they have given younger only or older than only if that only is given then only it's we can say that it's possible to answer the question here they are telling that just younger and older if they are given younger than only then it's easy to answer the question but here it is not possible here also older than only this term is important but they have not not specified so that we can say that both statement 1 and 2 are not sufficient to answer the question so the right answer is option 4 both the statements 1 and 2 together are not sufficient to answer the question fifth question how many children are there in the row first statement manoj is 12th from the left end and fourth to the left of hari in that row second statement hari is eighth from the right end of the row options will be like this first option if the data in statement 1 alone are sufficient to answer the question while the data in statement 2 alone not sufficient to answer the question second option statement 2 alone are sufficient to answer the question well the data in statement 1 alone not sufficient to answer the question third option either statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone are sufficient to answer the question fourth option both the statements 1 and 2 together not sufficient to answer the question last option both the statements 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question from the first statement they are telling that manoj is 12th from the left end
and fourth to the left of hari in the row fourth to the left of hari from the second statement they are telling that hari he is eighth from the right end of the row if we combine both the statement one of is 12th from the left end and fourth to the left of hari and hari is eighth from the right end of the row so by combining we say that the total number of children in the row is from the left end is 12th position and the here the gap is 3 position from the right end it is 8 position so total there are 23 children in the row so we can conclude that both the statements are necessary to answer this question that is option 5 both the statements 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer this question coming to the next question how is red written in code language first statement red and blue is written as h o p o d a in that code language second statement spread red carpet is written as n a d a k a in that code language so if you observe the both statement you can answer this question so from the both the statements red is common so the for that the code language is the common term is da in the both the statement other than red none is common here also from the statement 1 for red da and from the statement 2 the common term is da for red the code language is da so we can conclude that both the statement 1 and 2 are necessary to answer this question that is option 5 both the statement 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer this question coming to the next question village r is towards which direction of village m first statement village m is to the left west of village t who is to the south of village r second statement village m is to the south of village b who is to the west of village r so if you observe the statement you can answer easily without writing anything on the pen and paper observe in the first statement t is common m is related to m is west of t and also this t is related to r that is t is to the south of village r so we can say that m is north east to the r so also from the statement 2 b is common for m and r so here also we can say that m is in which direction to r 
so without solving anything you can answer either statement alone one or statement two alone sufficient to answer the question in exam don't write anything and uh, don't waste the time just by comparing and also by analyzing with the statement one alone or with the statement two alone so you can answer like that also i can show you here traditional method from the statement one they are telling m is west of t and t who is south of village r so the direction for m to r is north east from the second statement m is to the south of b also b is to the west of r so that m is north east to r so we can say that statement 1 alone sufficient to answer the question and also from the statement 2 alone we can answer the question so the right answer is option 3 either statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone are sufficient to answer this question coming to the next question how many sisters does d have statement 1 d mother has four children statement 2 k and t are brothers of e from the statement 1 they are telling d mother has four children d mother has four children d is one children and this is children 2 3 and this is children 1 sorry 2 this is children 1 and this is children 3 and this is children 4 and from the second statement they are telling k and t are brothers of e and it is nowhere related to d we don't know where this d and also k t and e are related so we can say that both the statement are not sufficient to answer the question because here we don't know sufficient statement to answer this question so we can conclude that both the statement 1 and 2 not sufficient to answer the question that is option 4 coming to the next question is d the mother of s first statement l is the husband of d l has only three children second statement n is the brother of s and p p is the daughter of l from the first statement they are telling that l is the husband of d
L is husband, then obviously D becomes wife of L. L has only three children. Children one, children two, and children three. From the second statement, they are telling N is the brother of S and P. P is the daughter of L. P is the daughter of L, and also N and N is the brother of S and P. P is daughter. N is the brother of S and P. From this, we can say that. Obviously, D is the mother of S. So that we can say that both the statement one and two are necessary to answer this question. That is option five. Both the statements one and two together are necessary to answer this question. Coming to the next question. How many students are there in the class? First statement: There are more than twenty, but less than twenty-seven students in the class. Second statement: There are more than twenty-four, but less than thirty-one students in the class. Also, when the students are divided into groups, each group contains five students. options will be like this statement 1 alone are sufficient to answer the question while the data in statement 2 alone not sufficient to answer the question statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question while the data in statement 1 alone not sufficient to answer the question either statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question both the statements 1 and 2 together not sufficient to answer the question both the statement 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question from the first statement they are telling that more than 20 but less than 27 that means it lies between 21 to 26 from the second statement they are telling that more than 24 but less than 31 That means twenty-five to thirty. Also, they are telling that when the students are divided into different groups, each group contains five students. That means the possible ways is five students means twenty-one to twenty-five or twenty-six to thirty. so that we can say that 25 is the only possible ways because here they are telling from the first statement they are telling less than 27 less than 27 means we cannot say that only 26 and only 26 it becomes less than 27 from the first statement they are telling but here they are telling that group of five students so that we can conclude 21 to 25 only
we cannot take 26 to 30 from because of from the first statement they are telling less than 27 so that we can say that 25 is the right answer so uh, there are 25 students in the class both the statement 1 and 2 together necessary to answer this question That is option 5, both statement 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question. Next question, among J, K, L, M and N, each has different height. Who among them is the second tallest? First statement, N is taller than M and K. K is shorter than M. Second statement, L is taller than N. J is not the tallest. From the first statement, N is taller than M and K. K is shorter than M. So there are five students like not students, there are five persons. Here also there are many possible ways. These are the possible ways. That is N is taller than M and K. K is shorter than M. So the order is N, M, K. So this can be the possible ways. From the second statement, they are telling that L is taller than N and J is not the tallest. Here are also many possible ways. So this is one possible. And this is one possible way. Also, this can be done. So, here also, they are not specified taller than only M is shorter than only K. And here also, L is taller than only N. So, they didn't specify any of these terms only. It should be like younger than only or taller than only this the this term only should be present then only we can select the possible ways so that we can say that both the statement 1 and 2 not sufficient to answer this question. That is option 4. Data given in both the statement 1 and 2 together not sufficient to answer the question. Next question. 5 persons A, B, C, D and E are sitting in a circle facing the center. Who is sitting to the immediate left of D? First statement, C is sitting second to the left of A. B and D are immediate neighbors of each other. Second statement, D is sitting to the immediate left of B. E is not immediate neighbors of D and B. From the first statement, There are five students. C is sitting second to the left of A. This 
A second left C. Also, B and D are immediate neighbors of each other. In this two position, B or D lies. From the second statement, they are telling. D is sitting to the immediate left of B. That is, B immediate left, D comes. And also, E is not immediate neighbor of D and B. Then obviously, the remaining position is E because E is not neighbor of D and B. So then we can say that they are asking who is sitting to the immediate left of D. Immediate left of D is A. So we can say that both the statement one and two together necessary to answer this question. That is option five. Both the statements one and two together are necessary to answer the question. Coming to the next question, how is Cost written in the code language. First statement: Tell me the cost is written as at zero hash nine, and cost was very high is written as and six hash one in that code language. Second statement. Some cost was discount is written as one eight seven hash, and some people like discount is written as eight seven five percentage in that code language. Okay. If you observe the statements, in the first statement, the common term is cost. From that, tell me the cost word, and also cost was very high. From that, cost is common word. So from this, the common term is hash. so that we can say that statement 1 alone sufficient to answer let me see the whether statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question or not here say they are saying some cost was discount and some people like discount here cost is not common so that we can say that only statement 1 alone Sufficient to answer this question. Whether statement two alone not sufficient to answer the question. So for cost, for the code language is hash. So the right answer is option one. Statement one alone sufficient to answer the question. Well, the statement two alone not sufficient to answer the question. Coming to the next question, eight persons P Q R S T U V and W are standing in a row facing north. Who among them is third from the left? First statement, W is standing fourth from the right end, extreme right end. Three persons standing between W and Q. Also, only one person standing between Q and S. Second statement: R is standing third from the ex extreme right end. Only one person standing between R and P. Also, S is standing to the immediate left of P.
okay from the statement 1 they are telling w there are total h persons <coughs> first let let me give the eight positions Okay, W is standing forth from the extreme right end. Okay, there are three persons between W and Q. Three persons between W and Q. Also, only one person standing between Q and S. So that from the statement one alone, we can say that they are asking who among them is. third from the left end it is from the left end yes is the <coughs> standing from the left end let me check with the second statement one 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 r is sta standing third from the extreme right end and also only one person standing between r and p and here also possible r and p from the left end and from the right end also they are telling s yes, is standing to the immediate left of p there are two possible ways in statement 2 so we can say that statement 1 alone sufficient to answer this question whether statement 2 alone not sufficient to answer this question that is answer 1 statement 1 alone sufficient to answer the question while data in statement 2 alone not sufficient to answer the question coming to the next question who among four friend a b c and d did spend least amount of money first option sorry first statement a spent more than d but less than c c did not spend most amount second statement a spent more money than only one person also c spent less than b but more than d options will be like this first option statement 1 alone are sufficient to answer the question while the data in statement 2 alone not sufficient to answer the question second state second option statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question while statement 1 alone not sufficient to answer the question third option either statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone are sufficient to answer the question fourth statement both the statements 1 and 2 together not sufficient to answer the question last option statement 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question from the first statement they are telling that a spent more than d but less than c more than d but less than c also they are telling c did not spend the most amount then obviously above c another person will come also from the second statement that <coughs> from the first statement alone we can say that who spent the least amount of money that is d that they are asking among four friends who spent least amount of money statement 1 alone sufficient we'll check <coughs> we'll check whether statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question or not from the second statement they are telling a spent more money than only one one person
also they are telling c spent less than b but more than d so the statement two alone also sufficient to answer the question here also d becomes the least amount of money who spends so we can say that statement either statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question that is option 3 data in statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question coming to the next question what is the code for you are in code language first statement in that code language do your work is coded as 254 second statement in that code language your incomplete assignment is coded as 974 so if you combine both the statements and analyze that you can answer without writing anything so the common term is you are in both the statement also the common number is 4 so that we can say that by combining both the statements we can answer this question here also from the statement one here you are and also in statement two you are both the terms are common also the number is 4 which is common in both the statement so we can conclude that both the statements are required to answer the question that is option 5 both statement 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer this question coming to the next question how many pages did ravi type on friday first statement ravi did not type 28 pages but he did type more pages than he typed on thursday second statement ravi typed more than 21 pages but less than 28 pages on friday from the statement 1 ravi did not type 28 pages he did not type 28 pages <coughs> but he did type more pages than he typed on thursday but we don't know what he typed on thursday okay let me check in statement 2 ravi typed more than 21 but less than 28 pages so it lies between 22 to 27 and nowhere from the by combining also both statement are not sufficient to answer this question because they are asking exactly how many pages ravi typed on friday so we can conclude that that is option 4 both the statements 1 and 2 together are not sufficient to answer the question coming to the next question how m is related to k first statement u has only two children k and t m has only one grandson u second statement b is sister of m k does not have any children
from the first statement they are telling u has only two children that is k and p m has only one grandson that is u M has only one grandson. That means you become father of K and T and grandson for M. From the second statement, they are telling B is sister of M. And K does not have any children. if we combine both the statement also we don't know m children only they are mention uh, grandson of m that is u so that by combining both the statement also we cannot answer because we don't know whether m is male or female if m becomes male we can say that m becomes grandfather for k and if m is female we can say that m is grandmother for k but we don't know whether m is male or female we don't know the gender of m so that we can say that both the statements are not sufficient to answer this question that is option 4 both statement 1 and 2 together not sufficient to answer the question coming to the next question in a code language read your book is written as 9 2 7 which number stands for book first statement in the same code language book on shelf is coded as 738 from the second statement in the same code language your book shelf is coded as 278 so if you combine both the statement the common term is book and shelf so the common number for that book and shelf is 7 and 8 and also if you combine both the statement with the given question that is in read your book is written as 927 so here the common term for book and shelf is 7 and 8 and if you compare that with question so the common term is 7 not 8 so that by observing this we can say that both the statement are necessary to answer the question from the first statement book and shelf is common and from the second statement book and shelf so the common number is 7 8 and 7 8 and if you combine both statement with and comparing with the question so only 7 is common so we can say that for the book 7 is the exact coded language so we can say that by combining both the statements we can answer this question that is option 5 both the statement 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question coming to the next question how is we related to 
or first statement r is the daughter of g g and s are children of k v is the husband of k second statement m is married to g m is the mother of r also v is the father of g let me write down and show you from the first statement they are telling that r is the daughter of g r is the daughter of g g and s are children of k also v is the husband of k then obviously k becomes wife for v so we can say that how v is related to r v is grandfather to r so statement 1 alone sufficient to answer this question let me check whether statement 2 alone also sufficient to question to answer this question or not m is married to g m is the mother for r also v is the father for g so from statement 2 alone also we can answer v becomes v is grandfather to r so from the both the statement we can conclude that either alone statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone we can answer this question so the right answer is option 3 that is either statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone sufficient to answer the question coming to the next question <coughs> in a straight line of eight people all are facing north who stands fourth from the left end of the line first statement k stands third from the right end of the line only two people stand between k and s also r stands second to the right of s from the second statement w stands second to the left second from the left end of the line only two people stand between w and r also j is immediate neighbor of r from the first statement they are telling that okay, let me write eight people positions 5 6 7 8 k stands third from the right end of the line also only two people stand between k and s r stands second to the right of s statement 1 alone not sufficient because they are asking who stands fourth from the left end of the line 
we don't know who stands from the left end of the line okay let me check with the second statement w stands second from the left end of the line only two people stand between w and r j is the immediate neighbor of r okay they are telling j is immediate neighbor of r but not specifying immediate left or immediate right to the neighbor of r so the possible ways are like this there are two possible ways so here also we can we cannot say that who stands exactly fourth from the left end of the row so that we can conclude that both the statements 1 and 2 together not sufficient to answer the question okay friends here data sufficiency all problems are covered in both part 1 and part 2 those who are missed part 1 please go to our official website edu rapid or our youtube channel edu rapid for part 1 and part 2 video please subscribe and like the videos thank you